Mechatronics is a multidisciplinary subject that deals with many concepts such as mechanics, electronics, control and computer science. It is very important to have experimental kits in the classroom, both for training as well as for demonstration. In this paper, it is presented an educational experiment that consists of a mechatronic system applied to demonstrate concepts such as prototyping, control, haptic feedback and the use of different sensor and actuators. The described mechatronic system is based on the use of two identical manipulators, being physical devices commonly used in the industry. The physical components of the manipulators were 3D printed, being the original model of each manipulator, the EasyBot R Mark II. This already existent prototype was modified with the necessary changes to fulfill the requisites of the proposed system, being included load cells to provide measurement of the applied forces and the road creeper was also modified, being applied and an electromagnetic actuator. Nowadays, robotic manipulators are vastly used in diverse areas such as goods production, medical surgeries and handling of dangerous materials. However, in order for the manipulator to be useful, it is first needed to program it to do a required task. This process of teaching the robotic arm becomes a more accessible procedure if it is possible to replicate the desired movements manually. To do this, it is possible to make use of remote control, which provides the possibility to control a manipulator from a distance. Nonetheless, for this type of control to be effective and accessible, it is important that the user acquires a good knowledge of the remote environment. This is usually done with the help of cameras and microphones, which provide image and sound feedback. The proposed prototype aims to enhance this type of remote control for teaching robotic manipulators with the addition of an haptic system. This provides the user with a tactical sensation of remote environment and thus a better control of the robotic arm. The type of haptic feedback chosen for this system was force feedback, which will be made possible using the servo motors on the local manipulator. This will be useful in situations where the remote control collides with something on its environment, giving the user better sense. The system architecture used for this project is presented in the shown figure. The system is composed of two main subsystems, a local subsystem and a remote subsystem. Both subsystems are very similar to one another in terms of components, with the exception of a camera sensor, which is used in the remote subsystem and not in the local subsystem. This camera is connected via USB and is used to provide visual feedback of the remote environment to the local system and thus give a better experience to the user operating the system. The Arduino Mega is the brain of the manipulator. It is in charge of operating the actuators, the electromagnet and the servo motors and the reading of the sensors and the load cells. The physical components of the manipulators were 3D printed, being the original model of each manipulator, the EasyBot Arm Mark II. The shown figures illustrate the modifications applied to the original robot in order to obtain the final prototype, being shown its base, links and end effector. In every control loop of the local arm, an updated value for the load cells measure is calculated. If the values taken from the remote load cells have different signs from the local ones, it means that there are forces being applied in both arms opposing one another and therefore some sort of optic feedback must take place. As a way to demonstrate this functionality, three plots are displayed, one for each joint. The purpose of showing this free series is to demonstrate that when there is a force strong enough applied in the opposite direction of the movement, the joint does not continue moving, even though the user keeps forcing the joint. This indicates there is a constraint in that movement and therefore the user becomes more aware of the remote environment. 
This paper proposed a system intended for teaching remote robotic manipulators. As future work, the authors intend to explore the use of the proposed prototype in different educational contexts.